Good morning, respected Shri N. Vettel, IAS, former Central Vigilance Commissioner, Professor Victor Louis-Antman, leading economist, Professor Finance Lieber, Secretary and Correspondent, Mr. Thomas Franco Rajendradev, Treasurer, Mr. Bhavani Shankar, Dr. Alpha Deva Prasad, President and CEO of Alpha Group of Institutions, and other distinguished guests of the days, principals and teachers of all schools and special invitees. It is a great pleasure for me to welcome you all to this national seminar on challenges in school education. The word challenge brings to mind a lot of negative thoughts. Why do we feel school, school education has so many challenges? Our students are generally successful, economically sound, as all of us commonly say, well settled in life. But have our schools created great thinkers, inventors, researchers, mathematicians, politicians, scientists, good human beings? What about the large community of children who are out of school, who do not have access to any form of education or have to walk kilometers to reach school, where he is taught subjects that don't help him earn a living? Whom do we blame? Do we blame schools, the system, the curriculum, the pedagogy, the general ethos of education, or the way we are evaluating and assessing our students? Maybe all of this. We have for years allowed a one-size-fits-all policy, and if at the end of 10 and 12 years of study, the percentage of pass in high school, we are proud when it is high, then we have done well in educating our students? That's a big question. Ladies and gentlemen, this seminar is an attempt to bring together great minds who share our concerns, but have richer experience, exposure, and wisdom, who can enlighten us and help us face these challenges, who can help us find answers to many of these burning, challenging questions. Our chief guest, Sri N. Vittal, is a true example of how students should grow. In all the years he has served as an IS officer, he has stood out for his honesty, his integrity, and his intelligence. He brings to the, he belongs to the 1960 batch of IAS. He was the chairman of the Telecom Commission, secretary of the Department of Telecommunication, and a central vigilance com, uh, commissioner, to name a few. He has written more than 400 articles on various subjects from management to public sector management to human resource development and many more. He was responsible for numerous improvements in whichever department he headed. He initiated policies to boost software and set up software development parks. He was responsible for the liberalization of the telecom sector and getting the national telecom policy approved. These are just a few of his achievements. His awards list run into a whole page, the highlight of the recognition of his services by the government of India with the most esteemed civilian award, the Padma Bhushan. We welcome you, sir, and look forward to an inspiring talk and learning from it. I'm sure it will set the seminar on track, sir. I very warmly welcome the keynote speaker, Professor Victor Louis Antuin, who, I remember, if I remember right, was the very first name Mr. Franco wanted as a speaker for the seminar, and that was Professor Victor Louis. Professor, he is a professor of finance and the coordinator of the PhD program at LIBA, one of the most sought after institutes in the country. He's a visiting professor of many colleges and universities across the world. He has published a number of books and has more than 80 papers to his credit. He received the Best Educator, the Kalvi Kavalar, the Exemplary Teacher, and the Lifetime Award from various organizations. So it is an honor to be able to listen to you. We warmly welcome you. I welcome Dr. Alfred Deva Prasad, President and Dean of Alpha Group of Institutions. All of us at SBOA know Dr. Alfred, not as a CEO of a great organization, but as our dear alumni. Yes, Dr. Alfred is an alumni of this school. He's an extremely busy person, but when his school calls, he always makes it a point to come. He's also a member of the seminar's advisory committee. All of us here warmly welcome you. I warmly welcome the former correspondents of ISBA schools, especially Mr. A. Sridhar, former correspondent of SBA Metropolitan School, Chennai, who will chair one of our sessions. I welcome our treasurer, Mr. Bhavani Shankar, for agreeing to preside over this program. I welcome all the correspondents of ISBO schools and all the, the trust in the management committee members. I warmly greet the host of the seminar, our secretary and correspondent, Mr. Franco, whose foresight and vision draws the very best out of all of us. 
This seminar is his brainchild. He's a person who strongly believes that every child has a spark in him. It, is only, it only takes the right teacher to kindle that spark, spark into a fire of excellence. I welcome all the principals and teachers of various schools. The SBOA family extends a very warm welcome to you. I welcome all the members of our big SBOA family. When Rabindranath Tagore sang his famous lines, where the mind is without fear, he did not mean it just to be a song seeking freedom for our country. He meant it to be a clarion call to all educationists, to free the mind of our children from petty differences and awaken them into a country of true freedom. Let the seminar have the required impact. Once again, I welcome all of you. I extend a very warm welcome to Mr. E.A.G. Moses, who is the founder of this great institution. Mr. Moses, thank you. Thank you very much.